This art project allows you to take music and create visual art, being inspired by something that you've chosen to listen to. Okay? Today, you get to select a piece of music. We put together 12 different selections of music, just samples of those music pieces. We'll tell you the names of those later. Today, you get to listen and select one. Okay? Then you're going to create a piece of visual art based on what you're hearing. Yesterday, we practiced using line and shape and color. We talked about value, like areas of light and dark in your work. We looked at examples of student work and examples of how the whole thing gets put together. Tomorrow, we're going to write about what we've done. When you get your computer, you're going to navigate to the website like this. You'll type in artsintegration.net. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You'll scroll to lessons, select lessons, select visualizing music, and select music. So I'll show you what that looks like on the computer. So when you type in artsintegration.net, make sure you spell it correctly, you'll get to this website. This is our website. Scroll to lessons. It'll pull up this menu. Scroll down. Do you see visualizing music? So select this. And then you have to scroll down on this page. Do you see where it says music? Okay. This is where those uh, little selections of music are housed. And these QR codes, QR stands for quick response. When you select one of these pieces of music, it allows you to listen. I'll show you. So you can pause that. But you're going to sample each piece of music. You don't have a lot of time to listen to each one. You just want to get a little flavor of each one. While you're listening, you are going to do some free mark making in area A, for example. So it'll, it'll look like this. Let's say I'm listening. We don't have time to listen to the whole selection. I need to go to section B and listen to music B. This is important. Do not close this tab. Use the back arrow. What are you going to use? The back arrow. So watch my cursor. I'm coming up here. Find the back arrow and go back. It'll bring you back to this screen. If you close that window, you have to go through artsintegration.net, lessons, visualizing music, music, all over again. So go back, use the back arrow, then you'll select B. While you're listening to section B, you'll be doing some free mark making here, then move to C, etc. Okay. So at this time, we need to transition to get computers. When you decide which piece of music you want to use to inspire your visual art, you need to circle your choice, and it'll look like this. Oh, this is the one I want to use. Then you need to write descriptive words at the bottom. The bottom says write at least three words you think of when listening to the music, and then you can think about shapes or colors or images or feelings. Is it fast, slow, exciting, happy, sad? Do you think of red or blue or yellow? Write as many descriptive words as you can think of. When you have written your words, then you turn it over and you listen to your music and draw on the back. This will be your first iteration. Realize that what you do in pencil is going to be different than what you can do with oil pastels. But just getting the first sketches down and filling the space, you might use what you did here as an inspiration, but make it bigger, really filling the space. I want to show you also, when you get to that point, you can loop your music. This is what that looks like. Do you see the little white cursor? When the cursor Why is that? resting on this white bar, and if you do a two-finger touch, which is like a right click, two-finger touch, do you see the word loop right yes. here? Yeah. So loop will allow you to listen to that music over and over while you're doing your visual art.
you're going to get oil pastels and a piece of gray paper. And the gray paper uh, is for your final artwork. You've done one iteration. You've actually practiced some skills, and then you did an iteration on the back of your paper, and this is going to be your final iteration or your final work. The yellow paper is a placemat to protect your desk. One of the next steps is keeping yourself clean and keep other things clean. I've talked with teachers about, do you think we can use oil pastels and computers at the same time? Yes. And it, it is a bit of a concern because if we get oil pastels into the keyboard of the Chromebooks, it's really hard to clean. So what do you guys think about, are we able to do this side by side? What are your thoughts about that? Let's, just, let's get some ideas about that. What are you thinking? I could, uh, we could push it back or um, we could have a little air, we could have a little place. So you're thinking about arranging your desk so that the Chromebook is at one side and your art is at the other side? Okay. What are some other thoughts? How else are we going to prevent getting any oil pastels in the Chromebook? You can use one hand um, for using the pastel and you can use the other hand just in case you need to stop. So that's another idea. If you're using your right hand to use oil pastels, you only really need one finger to click on your computer. So that's another good idea. What's another idea? Yes. Yeah. So you could put a piece of paper over the keyboard. Oh, you could do that too. Mm -hmm. You could put a clean piece of paper over your keyboard. And you also the headphones that. have to stay clean yeah. as well. I think you guys can do it. your frame. When I give it to you, you'll see that at the bottom is a list of all the music that you chose from. So if you chose G, it's called D Forest by the D Forest. And if you chose E, it was Amor Amor by Gypsy King. A title of a song goes in quotes. What does it go in? Quotes. Oh, show me with your fingers, quotes. Quotes. Thank you. And you are going to capitalize the beginning of each word in the title. You're also going to capitalize the artist, either the band name or the artist themselves, as it's listed here. This is where you write the name of the artist or the band. So it would say, my abstract art is based on or is inspired by the song Deep Forest by Deep Forest, for example. Notice that when you see parentheses, you're going to make a choice. What are you going to make? A choice. choice. So to make a choice, it looks like this. My abstract art, let's see, I would say is inspired by, I get to choose one. Cross off the one you're not going to use. And then the next frame is, you get to choose. I saw or I visualized or I imagined the music as blank. On your listening exercise page, you wrote words describing your music. Please point to those words now. The thing is, you get to make a choice. Either it was challenging, or I was surprised, or I enjoyed. Think about which one you will write about. Think first. I'm going to have you raise your hand to show me what you chose. Be ready. If you're going to write about what was challenging, raise your hand. If you're going to write about something surprise, that surprised you, raise your hand. If you're going to write about what you enjoyed, raise your hand. Think about how you will complete that phrase and what you will write you're going to share with your partner. Think first. If you were a listener first last time, you're going to respond first this time. Please turn and let your partner know what you will write. Go ahead. It was challenging. When you have a chance to think about what you're going to say, you practice telling someone, it makes this writing part easier. Now you've talked about your ideas with someone, you've heard someone else's ideas, that could help you. 
Think about what you would say to a first grader if you were trying to tell them what abstract art is. Think about it because you're going to share that with your partner. Okay, please turn and tell your partner right now. Abstract art is.